Hey everybody, what is going on? Sean here with Zero to Income and today what I'm going to do is walk you through the process of setting up a scrolling carousel for your testimonials just like I've got right here. So this is my testimonial section of a website I've been working on and what you'll see here is these testimonials are scrolling through automatically. All right, now System.io does have a carousel feature, however, it doesn't have the ability to rotate each of the slides automatically and so I'm going to walk you through how to do this instead using custom code. Now this custom code will be available in the description down below if you'd like to uh, pop in there and grab that. So that being said let's pop over here and I'll show you how I did this. So we go over to our editor this is our code that's on that page right now what we're going to do is just click into it and I'm gonna just click on it so I can get the code I'm gonna highlight it all and copy it all Okay, and again, this isn't even using the system IO's built-in carousel feature because, again, it doesn't give us the option to run it automatically. So it, this is just a completely new carousel that's all code. And so we're going to be using, again, the raw HTML feature. So we scroll down here. We grab a raw HTML element. We are going to drop it right in here below. And then you click into it. And then we're going to edit out the default code and paste in our code. Now what we want to do is you want to be able to make this your own. So each one of these rows here is a different testimonial. All right. So you will take this code and you'll have testimonial one, right? Pop in here and you'll have testimonial two all right pop into here and we'll pop this in and do testimonial three and I'm gonna copy this for the fourth one copy and do oh, I want to get all this Four. Now, what you'll notice here is this here is a comment. All right. This is something that's not going to be read um, as something that needs to be shown up on the page. This is just something letting the person who's reading the code know what's going on. So what this is saying here is add more quotes as needed. So how would you add more quotes? You literally just go and copy the whole line. Copy. And if you needed another quote, you'd pop that in there. Me, I like to kind of clean things up and make them all lined up. And then you would make this five. And then let's just say you had six total. Pop that in there. Do another one. Again, let me clean up the code. And this would be uh, six. All right. Now, the other thing that you might want to do is you might want to change the font and color of the font. You might want to change the style, et cetera, et cetera. And that's all going to be done down here in the style. Whenever you see style and code, style is what is, is being done to change how something looks. All right. What I'm looking for, though, is things like font size. We could make it bigger, like 50. Okay. We could go and here we've got this set to Garamound right now, but you could change it to whatever you wanted. Here's our color. And I'm going to use my hex code for the green that I use for my buttons in here and do that and we're going to take that down and i think that's good for now just kind of gives you an idea of what you can do if you want to change the text color text size uh fonts font family if you want to change the font family you could do that down here i'm going to leave it alone though and we're just going to click on save okay and so there's our next deal here we have testimonial one uh that evidently changed the code for the top one too which is interesting oh i see why what's going on is it used the code is evidently affecting both of these but that's okay you know you're not going to have two on a, on a site when you do it you're only going to have one as a general rule so we're going to go in here and we're going to save changes and then we're going to go up here i'm going to refresh this and see how that changed Now this one's not moving for us, so we need to go back up here and see what's going on. 
See why it's not moving. Let's see why it's not moving. Should be moving. Yeah, right here it is set to change the slides every five uh, every five seconds. So if that's another thing that you might want to keep in mind is if you decide five seconds is too much, each second is one thousand. All right, and so you can make this uh, longer or shorter accordingly. If you want it to be four seconds, it would be four thousand. So let me exit out of here, and then I'm going to delete this. Do yes. And our code here went back to what it was before. This code actually is affecting this right here. It's pulling in my code from my testimonial site on Senja. So, uh, and then we've got this code here, which is the actual carousel. All right, so that's how you would go and add the carousel code. That's how you would tweak the carousel code and give your website the ability to have something that when somebody opens it up and looks at it, it's automatically just scrolling through. So let's go back over here, save the changes and refresh it. And this should be starting at any time. It's not. There it is. It was just kind of stuck on stupid. So there's every five seconds. All right. So there you go. Uh, if you like this video, feel free to go and check out our other videos for our system.io. We have a whole playlist for you, and that's it for now. Thanks for watching, everybody.